Let us see other ways of using the Forensic uh, Query Builder. So if we go here into the Forensic, uh, we have, right now, we can see the cases that we have, and we can select, for example, this one, as we have done before. And, and you see that here, you can also select it here from the command line by saying, you know, case, Gmail, and, and, and the collection. You specify that, that in here. But let's say that now we actually want to uh, use the Query Builder to do more, more sophisticated searches. Let's say that we are going to be searching in here on uh, ePersona. And what we want to look for is, for example, credit card numbers. We're going to make this uh, search for any kind of a credit card number, not just one in particular. And we're going to make this a new search and we uh, insert the query and we see uh, what data that we get. And as we see here, we see a lot of matches and these are not necessarily credit card numbers. These are numbers that match the algorithm for credit cards. So how can we make this a little bit more interesting? Let's say that we are interested in seeing who is actually uh, sending credit card numbers by mail. So we go back to the Query Builder and we are going to be selecting now as the category uh, email. And the field we're going to be selecting here is, uh, is uh, two. I mean, uh, this is outgoing mail. I want to see wh whoever is sending uh, email with credit card number, so we're going to specify these to anyone. I can specify a, a specific user if I'm making a search. And in here, instead of making it a new, I'm going to make it part of the previous search. And I click uh, Insert Query. And now this is more like credit card numbers. So we can actually uh, notice that the, that the tool tells you a suspicious event with this uh, icon that is red with a, with a uh, yellow uh, line in between. So if I click on that particular record and see what's in there, I clearly see that, you know, this is a particular email where a bunch of credit card numbers are actually being, being uh, sent by email. So this is a way of showing you how flexible is the query builder uh, within Forensic. I can make other uh, searches as well. So we go back to the query builder let's say that we want to look for you know who's been looking at web pages looking for a specific fields gonna be a website I'm not going to specify anyone in particular but I could uh, and I'm gonna make this a new uh, a new search and gonna make uh, a query and I can even enhance the search by going in here and specifying the word, you know, hack. And I can even make, uh, you know, some other uh, type of searches and click here, uh, search. And we can look at, you know, this particular record or document. And uh, it shows clearly, you know, as this is the gray area. This is where the where the document found the, the, the relationship and there was uh, somebody talking about promoting uh, hack for a uh, tutorial. So again, showing you capabilities and how one, you can actually make uh, more uh, sophisticated searches easily without having to know SQL or any, any other. Uh, if you know what you're looking for or you suspect what the things that you are looking for, you can easily find it with uh, the forensic component of uh, Curator.